I have been so lucky with my avocados recently. Look at this. Like I, I can't remember the last time. I don't think I've ever had, since I've started eating avocado, a bad avocado. Doesn't this just tell you you're gonna have a fabulous day? Happy Wednesday to every single one of you! I hope you are having an amazing week so far. As amazing as this avocado. Breakfast is served. I've got like a mushroom, sausage, spinach, like hash on two pieces of bread um, with spread with avocado. So good. I know it doesn't look very aesthetic. If you want like the aesthetic side of my breakfast, the Instagram worthy side of my breakfast, go follow me on Instagram. My name is Hannah Esh because that is literally my name. And you'll see like the mo more aesthetic side of me because like this side, it's like the real side, you know, the side where like I have so much stuff to put on two slices of bread that it just doesn't fit. Like it should really be spread over like four or five slices of bread, but you've got to be reasonable people. Be reasonable. So I'm gonna eat this, watch some YouTube, and then we need to catch up because it has been too long, people. Too damn long. So I finished my breakfast and then had like a bit of work to do, which is what you just saw. I didn't feel myself eating because I always just feel so weird about filming myself having breakfast. It creeps me out a little bit. Anyways, now we are gonna go to the gym. So I have to prepare my intra-workout shake, which I'm gonna share with you because it is absolutely unreal. So it was only fair to share that with the people on this channel. So I mentioned like a few videos ago that I started doing this new like diet thing. Now I don't, I don't actually like using the word diet because I always find that there are negative connotations around that. But basically I kind of wanted to give myself no excuses. You know like sometimes you go into the gym and you're like, oh I didn't eat very well yesterday so today might not be a good day. Or like, oh yesterday I didn't do X and Y so today's not going to be a good day. I'm basically trying to iron out all of those reasons so that every single day I go into the gym I'm like, well, you're gonna have a great session because you've done X, Y, and Z. And this, like, basically what I started doing is um, RP strength, now Renaissance periodization strength, something. So um, as per the diet plan, you have to have a shake during your session with a mix of carbs and protein. So like before, I never used to have a shake during my session um, because I had like only like really thick whey, like chocolate whey from bulk powders, which I swear by, everybody knows that on this channel. But I recently purchased my protein clear whey, orange and mango, is so good. Like I would drink this with just like ice and just water because it just tastes unreal. It's like, what's that thing English people drink loads of? When I first came here, I was like, oh, you just have like a full squash. So like when I first came over to the UK, <laughs> you're probably gonna laugh at this, but like someone was like, oh, can you get me a glass of squash? So I just got the bottle of squash and just poured like, a whole glass of squash, but you're supposed to mix squash with water. Anyways, you guys know what I'm talking about. Clear way in general, such vibes, love it. This tastes just like squash, so good. Um, and I basically put one scoop of this, half a scoop of carbs, like maltodextrin carbs, it's basically like just like an intra energy boost during my workout. I need like a my protein shaker to be like on branding point right now, but. I just have my broken bulk powder shaker. So one scoop of my orange and mango protein, squash malak, so good. Then half a scoop of the like maltodextrin carbs thing, like this scoop's like 50 grams, I only really need like, I think it's like 30. Um, and then I'll always put my creatine which i've been taking religiously since we came back to the gym into this shake as well just to kind of like otherwise i just forget to take it so i'll like put it in my intro workout shake so i never forget to take it and that's it like that's all that's all that you need and it is literally like so good so good and I genuinely do feel like since having this intro shake, like during my workouts, I feel more energized and I feel like, you know that like mid-session lull you usually get like after you've done like the first two exercises, you're like, oh, this is hard. Like this carries me through. All the way through till the end of the session. 
it's unreal. Meaning that my accessories are no longer like the vein of my sessions. Like now my accessories are something I look forward to. And maybe that's why I'm so much stronger than I was before. Who freaking knows? At the gym now. Um, just sat back in my car. We're ready for like, we're calling it a taper week this week. It's a very like, should be 80% shield sessions ready for next week. Now, you ask Hannah, what is next week? Well, you'll have to subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up to find out. And if you don't, well, all the bad luck shall be upon you, unfortunately. So make sure you do that and do it now. So as the primer for today's cleans, we're gonna be doing the tall clean. And it's primarily a technique drill with relatively little utility for strength and development. Okay, what you wanna do is begin standing tall with a clean width grip on the bar and the bar hanging at arm's length in light contact with the body. Simultaneously lift and move the feet into the receiving position and pull the elbows up and out. Then turn the bar over into the clean rack position to move down into a squat. Secure the bar in the rack position at the same time the feet reconnect flat with the floor. Recover to standing by leading with the head, shoulders and elbows up. The focus of this exercise is to remain aggressive on the pull and pull up with your arms and meet the bar and push back up onto the bar. So what you're trying to avoid is the bar crashing back down on you. So it's basically to finish that final pull and then to push aggressively back onto the bar whilst the bar is coming back down onto you. Oh, what a Szechuan dragon, you know? That is um, Han for session, gym session more specifically. So like I said, we're supposed to be doing like a mini taper this week for the British next week. So it's like, it's a virtual British. So I'm gonna update you all in the next video. So just make sure you subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. But basically, yeah, it's a mini taper, which means we like back off a little bit on the volume, back off a little bit on the weight and just generally like condition our bodies for next week to have like a little bit of rest, a little bit of recovery in time to like smash it for the next week. I find it like very difficult to um, actually to back off. I'm very in tune with my body. So when, when it's feeling good, I like push it a lot. And then when I'm not feeling so good, I still try and push it a lot because I'm like, well, you're here now, so may as well. And this goes back to what I was saying before. I changed a lot of things in my life, which now mean that I have no, well, I have little to no excuses to perform badly. So I go in with the mindset that today's the day that I'm going to PB or today's the day that I'm going to train really hard or today's the day that I'm really going to switch on. So yeah, since, since doing that, like my sessions have been so much better. But yes, taper, recovery, relax, ready for next week. See what we can do. See what happens when we get back on the platform. You know? Anyway, it's now time to eat and um, I'm starving. See you back at home. Pancakes, standard, and friends. 
standard. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I feel like it's been ages since I like vlogs properly and I've missed it. Like it always puts me in such a good mood, such a good mindset. So let me know in the comments below if you do give tall cleans a go. I would love to see and make sure you subscribe because I'm going to have like a whole British championships update in the next video which should come out on Friday or Saturday. So you don't want to miss it. Yeah, no. Also, go and follow me on Instagram because stuff like this cool stuff is going to be launching very soon. It's very exciting. So, yes. I'll catch you in the next video. We, 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 hi. <laughs> I'm